by and large, it is seen that uh, patients of diabetes mellitus, uh, especially the elderly people, also have other concomitant illnesses, like they could be having high blood pressure or some heart disease, or uh, they are taking medicines for their uh, some stomach issues like reflux or hyperacidity, gastritis, vomiting. So there could be a chance that you are having multiple medications. Uh, so uh, whenever you take multiple medications, uh, we say that these drugs might interact with each other. So they might reduce or increase the action of each other. So the same thing can apply to dipagliflorazine also. So if you are taking uh, certain medication which have been prescribed to you, and nowadays uh, there is also, especially in India, the trend is that you just go to the chemist and buy some medicine, which are called as over-the-counter medication. It could be a, for a cough, cold, for acidity, for headache, etc., loose motions, uh, whatever it is, for fever, right? So then you have to be careful. There are certain drugs uh, which interact. So uh, we will not give you the full list. We will just give you the important ones. Your your physician also is well uh, well uh, well informed, uh, well educated on this. He or she knows exactly which drugs interact with uh, dipagliflozin. So they will uh, prescribe dipagliflozin accordingly and tell you when to take dipagliflozin, when not to take, uh, how much time you should leave with your how much gap you should leave between two medicines so that you reduce the chance of their interaction. So some drugs are uh, other medications that are used for diabetes separately. Now, dipagliflozin, uh, we'll, be, we'll talk again later, is, is available either alone or in combination with other medi uh, uh, diabetic medications in a single tablet. But suppose if you're taking it separately, then there could be a chance that they interact, like if, if, you're, if you're an insulin and an oral drug, there is high possibility that uh, uh, these drugs could act together and it could lower your blood sugars uh, and the levels could go down much lower than the normal levels. Uh, an another disease that you could, uh, that is commonly also seen is high cholesterol. Okay, And the commonly used drugs are called statins. So if you are taking any of those drugs, uh, you know, your, uh, your physician will tell you how to take the possibility of uh, dipagliflozin and statins like aterovastatin interacting with each other. Uh, blood thinners like uh, rivaroxaban, you know, which are which are given in patients of uh, uh, some heart conditions, patients who have uh, you know, clotting in their in their blood, uh, which uh, for example in the in the brain or in the blood vessels anywhere in the body. So these agents also should be used uh, cautiously. Uh, drugs which are used to increase the amount of flow, amount and flow of urine, especially in those patients who have uh, those conditions wherein there is excessive collection of fluid in the body. Uh, it could be uh, in the lungs, it could be in the heart, it could be uh, you know high blood pressure. So one of the important medicines that are used to treat these conditions are called as diuretics. So uretics, so urine, urine. So these drugs basically help to increase the level, the flow, amount of urine that you pass. And you must have uh, seen uh, patients who are given diuretics rushing to the washroom very often because uh, the drugs act in such a way that the patient has to go, uh, there is increased flow of urine. So obviously you have to uh, visit the washroom. And it could happen to uh, those patients who are taking diuretics. So these drugs are, uh, you know, spironolactone is one, is one, is one drug. If you're having asthma and if you have been given sprays or drugs for asthma medication, especially the combination of bitosonide and formetrol, so those also you have to be uh, used with caution. Uh, thyroid hormones, very commonly used. Thyroid is also a common disease. Either it could be hypothyroid, hypomis. The thyroid is, is working at a low uh, pace. Hyperthyroid means thyroid is working at a high pace. Uh, drugs like uh, there are a group of drugs which is which are used to treat uh, high blood pressure and other heart conditions which are called as beta blockers. So one of the drugs is called metoprolol. Uh, so these drugs also interact. Other as we said, other over-the-counter medications. Uh, some vitamins uh, like vitamin C to some extent. Uh, some some vitamin uh, B. Uh, you know those uh, are also. Uh, uh, important, uh, you know, to uh, to keep in mind about their possible interactions with dipagliflozin. But as I said earlier, again, we will uh, try to uh, say it again, that if you take, follow your doctor's instructions carefully, properly, then the chances of all these uh, interactions, side effects, etc., are considerably reduced. Uh, 